Ever tried holding your breath just to see how long you can last? At first, it feels fine. Your body uses oxygen already stored in your lungs and blood. But within seconds, something starts building up. Not the lack of oxygen, it's carbon dioxide or CO2. As CO2 rises, your brain says, warning, time to breathe. You feel pressure in your chest, maybe even a twitch in your diaphragm. That's your brain fighting to take back control. Ignore it, oxygen keeps dropping. Your vision blurs, you feel dizzy, confused. That's called hypoxia, low oxygen. And if you still resist, your body will force a breath or you'll pass out. It's your brain's emergency backup plan. But underwater, that moment can be deadly. Now, what about the pros? Free divers train to hold their breath over 10 minutes. They build up CO2 tolerance, slow their heart rates, and use mind over body control. But there's danger too. Hyperventilating before a dive lowers CO2 too much. So you don't feel the urge to breathe until it's too late. Bottom line, your breath holding limit is not about willpower. It's a race between rising CO2 and falling oxygen. And your brain always wins. Stay smart, stay safe.